At M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. There's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Dallas Cowboys. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now a first carry for Latavius Murray. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Mike 42, Mike 42, check, check, Mike 42. Let's go, D. Big off the play fake, here's Jackson. That's complete, it's Rashad Bateman. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Pressure gets there this time for the sack. Big Demarcus Lawrence getting in there and bringing him to the ground. The defense is always talking about not letting Lamar Jackson get comfortable. A good job there on his opening drive of making him uncomfortable. And you're talking about doing it so early in the game because all week long, there's been anxiety on the defensive side of the ball. How do we keep this guy hemmed in? How do we tackle him to get it done that early? That's got to feel great for them. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by DeMonte Kazin. And the Cowboys are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. They may have thrown the interception, obviously less than ideal, but I think they also sent a message that they're going to push the ball downfield in this one. Yeah, not afraid to take their shots right away, huh? What was that, like a 9-9-9 nine, nine, nine route? 9 meaning go? Just went ahead and went for it. Didn't work out so well because it certainly appeared the defense was prepared. But I'm with you. Okay, so it didn't work this time. Doesn't mean we won't try it again later. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 18. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throw left side complete. That's Schultz. That catch good for only a couple. 
I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. Second down and eight. <laughs> Throwing. Prescott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. Eluding the pressure right. To the sideline, and he's got it. They say the feet are down. Yes, the line judge says they're in. That'll be a first down. Mission accomplished on that throw. Slant, pick up the first down. I like how he just put it on the receiver and didn't lead him on that one. Happened quickly. Defense, not much they could do. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 46. Prescott yet again. Takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. They come up with exactly one minute to go in this first quarter. On second and ten, Prescott. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think that's how this defense is going to need to play these tight ends. Again, get right up on them and stay physical. And that paid off on that play, helping force that incompletion. So back to back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Prescott off play action. He's got his receiver, Cooper. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Amari Cooper, 46 yards. And the Cowboys are on the board first on the road here in Baltimore. Zerline connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, maybe that'll help him settle back into a groove after the interception on the first drive here, picking up the first to start drive number two. And it is just starting over, isn't it? Sometimes it's just how you have to do it. You have to erase things from your mind. Don't worry about what happened before because over the course of a game, the good players, things turn out pretty well for them, and that's what he's trying to do here. Being chased out left. Oh, that's in the double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal, and the return will be stopped at the 34-yard line. 
I know it appeared he was saying, hey, give me the football, I'm open, but I don't know if that's a pass that he should have thrown there. Well, I don't think we've ever met a wide receiver that doesn't think he is open or is about to be open. <laughs> True. So when you throw your hand up in the air and tell your quarterback, hey, I'm available, he's trusting that you are. In this case, he was not, and it turned into disaster for them. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Dancing to his left. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. Got a man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. After one, seven-nothing on EA Sports. Scott escaping the pressure right and inside the five here before he's out of bounds right at the three he'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down they come out five wide three of them to the right side well he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield waiting for someone to get open but once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush it was time to make a break for it Second down and goal. Prescott buying time to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Now Zerline on to add the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Devin Duvernay now returning from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Six yards left on second down. Here's Jackson. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Diggs. And they will finally get him down as he's all the way to the 36-yard line. Boy, Charles, that is now three interceptions in three consecutive drives. In